right, hockey fans, let's get you set for the puck drop here in this all-important bronze medal game at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. It's the Rangers in yellow taking on the Bruins in black, and we're underway on Championship Sunday with the opening puck drop here in the bronze medal contest as the Rangers moving left to right across your screen and they scoop up possession here as wheeling up that far side wing is Willer. Uh, maybe a bit of mix up here on my end, but now it's controlled by Dylan Bradbury as it looks like we do have it sorted out in terms of the numbers and a, a slashing call behind the play. And we're gonna get our first power play of this game just 42 seconds into action. As the guilty party about to be pulled over. The penalty to the Bruins starting goaltenders in this one for the Bruins, it's Marcus Tiomaki from Finland and for the Rangers in yellow, Steve Vandermeer as Gianna Griffiths heads to the box to serve the slashing minor. <clears throat> so from the face off, the power play here with Brandon Joy feeding the puck ahead into the corner. The Rangers working, cycling, shooting and that shot attempt from Nick Bullock just going wide. Got to get the live stream up on my phone so we can get the chat commentary and monitor that. But right now, Alain Reynaud does well to fight off the forward checking pressure. And now Sean Dale in pursuit of the puck shorthanded for the Bruins. Dale bringing it in. He's got to try to find a teammate with the pass. He does in the shot attempt off the stick of Ian Rankin, just goes wide, but Rankin buries it on the second opportunity, and he rides the stick for the Selly. His third goal of the weekend. Ian Rankin opens up the scoring, shorthanded for the Bruins. 12.50 to go, and they lead it one nothing. What a great play by Ian Rankin. He never quit on the play, and as a result, Moments later, when the puck popped back to him at the far side post, he was able to tuck it over the pad of Vandermeer and give the Bruins a 1-0 lead while shorthanded. But here goes Dante Giamarioli. As Giamarioli works the far side wing, he's got Del Grande with him. Oh, the pass just a little too far ahead of Del Grande as Giamarioli comes up with it now. Backhands it in tight. And how about this promotion from the youth division up into the open division bronze medal game and Giamarioli definitely holding his own early on here. As he scoops up the puck in front of his own bench but it's promptly swiped away. Laura Mark digging away for it against, I believe that was Brian Cowley, actually it was Trajan Hansman who is a big body and now Griffiths comes out of the box. And I only learned last night that Trajan is only 14 years old. I thought he was a grown man. He is a big boy. As there's a rip off the stick of Jason Willer that went high and wide over top the Bruins net. But Trajan Hansman now making the play here for the Bruins and he'll peel off for a change as they send the puck down the ice. And it'll be Willer who starts to wheel out. He's got room to skate this straight up the middle. Willer takes it coast to coast. He's got to make a clean pass in the offensive zone. Checking his options behind the net. Tiomaki trying to track the movement here. It's played back to the point as trying to corral it was Curtis Ruddle, but it hopped underneath his blade and now it'll be retrieved inside their own zone by Josh Snyder. Snyder has it stripped away as the Bruins trying to build something, but Ripped around the far side boards, Griffiths to hold the zone and she makes a good play there along the wall. Cleared out this time by Randy, actually check that, that was James Ruddle making the clearance. And now the pass from Jan Gobey. Gobey's had a great weekend for the Bruins. One of their biggest producers up front and now Gobey trying to dig the puck out of the pack. 
Zach Miller wants the pass. There's the buzzer for the good clean pass. As Griffiths holding the zone. Nice work as she finds Gobey with the pass. And Gobey makes it two to nothing for the Bruins. That long shot through the five hole. The Rangers defenseman not happy about that as Josh Snyder complaining that there was no clean pass. The sequence had been broken up, but the call stands and it's two to nothing for the Bruins. Couple quick shout, shout outs here on our live chat thread. One for Lana Ruddle watching from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, cheering on the Rangers. And Saskatchewan, the newest blind hockey program, dubbed the Wolverines last night. Here goes Dante Giamarioli. Makes the pass back to the point. Brandon Joy tried to settle down the puck but it just slipped away from him and he smacked his stick on the ice. A little bit of frustration here early for the Rangers being down to nothing. Giamarioli comes up with the puck across the line, makes the pass to Del Grande. Just as quickly, Sean Dale able to clear to the line, but not out as Tiumaki makes a save on that dribbler. He had the paddle down to stop it. Joy trying to keep the play alive at the blue line and he holds the zone. Feathering it into the far corner. Del Grande wins that battle against Reno. And once again, nice hustle by Joy to keep it in along the near side. And finally, they clear the pressure with Ian Rankin forward checking. Hussein says, Ian Rankin has more points than Tessa. I bet Nico's not happy about that. Of course I'm happy about Ian having a great tournament. But I still think Tessa's maybe the best Rankin. So... And that takes nothing away from Francis, who had a great tournament as well in the youth division. He didn't quite make it in the lineup today as there's a shot from the point for the Rangers and it was off a stick and wide after it was Roland Arndt that let the puck fly. Willer off the end boards trying to create. Claps at it, big save by Tiomaki as he closes the five hole and the Bruins clear it across center ice. Willer, 7.50 to go in the first. Willer shielding the puck as he tries to pick out a teammate in Curtis Ruddle. Bronze medal game here in the open division as Brian Cowie skates it up. It's a two on one, makes the pass to Hansman. Oh, Trajan Hansman whipped that over top the net. So close to scoring as the youngster for the Bruins, just 14 years old, digging away for the puck. Shot attempt that time by Yari Gusev, but blocked and cleared down the ice, and that'll have enough to go for icing. So we get the whistle with 7.17 to go in the first. Well, one, as Rankin gets the goal announcement, a player and a lineup change to mention is that Easton Alexander Kiddo had to head back home to Dallas, Texas and is not in the lineup today, but Kiddo, he's cheering on his teammates, the Rangers from back home, and hence the promotion of Dante Giamarioli into the open division for this bronze medal game. Loose puck secured here by Gobey for the Bruins, brings it across the line, makes the pass over to Miller, tries to feed it back for Gobey. Broken up, good defensive work there by Eric Hooley. Hooley takes his man into the boards. Pass back to the point as Randy Banks lets that shot fly, but that time unable to put it on target. Schneider spins off the pressure, can't clear the zone. As the Rangers come up with it. And across into the attacking zone goes Nick Bullock. Over the blue line, trying to feed the pass back. Now it's DeRoche who tried to flip it out front and actually check that. That was Pamplin there making the play. And the puck just goes off the side netting. What a move by Dante Giamarioli as he did the reverse behind the net for the wraparound attempt. But Gobey stayed stride for stride with him and was able to jar it off his stick. Here go the Bruins as that drop pass attempt by Miller off the mark. Crashing in to try and make the play was Dale. A couple of Rangers players collide. That shot attempt from Dale at the hash marks just missed. Puck back to the point, gets past Nathan Tree. 
And now here goes Dante Giammarioli. Giammarioli tries to make the pass. And now they do complete it as getting a stick to it was Emily McLean. And they shovel it over the arm of Tiumaki. He's not happy about it. But I believe it's Giammarioli who's going to get the goal. His first in open division play. And he gets the Rangers on the board here in the bronze medal game. So we'll wait for official confirmation, but the goal should be credited to Giammarioli as now he brings the puck back across the blue line, but just as quickly swept loose as Gilles Ouellette takes possession. Ouellette's pass picked off. Dante Giammarioli working up the far side wing, but that time Del Grande is stride ahead and it's an offside call. Keep the comments coming in on the live chat thread as we'll get to a few sh viewer shout outs here, including one for Ansku, who says a beautiful save by the big M, Marcus Tiomaki, go Bruins, go. And Lana chiming in saying, I have a student who has just tried blind hockey. He might meet Cassandra at the youth goalball event in Calgary. Cheers from Saskatoon. And he can take part in that new blind hockey program out in Saskatchewan. And of course, a new big program as well, brewing in Windsor. So very exciting stuff here in terms of growth and development of programs, not only in Canada, but across the world. Here go the Rangers. Drop pass, controlled by James Ruddle. James the train Ruddle, what a save by Tiumaki. That puck was dipping into the bottom left corner and he kicked out the left leg for an unbelievable pad save. The big M bringing his A game here. And Marcus Tiumaki as that puck fired into the bench. Leonard and Wayne St. Dennis. Two of the coaches there for the Rangers had to keep their head on a swivel that time. We get a comment coming in from Sophie from France saying, Bonjour, how's the voice? The baker here in France has got more croissants ready for Nathan Tree when he scores. Well, Tree got a beautiful goal yesterday, so he's earned himself a chocolat, that's for sure, Sophie. And I know he's going to keep you honest with that one as we get a delayed offside called here against the Bruins. Might be a little tougher today for Nathan to find the back of the net so far in this game. They've been lining him up on defense. But the Bruins lead 2-1 to one, and now here go the Rangers. Working up the far wall is Hooley. Two minutes remaining in the period. Plays it back but Laura Mark outside the zone tracks it at center ice. Fired right back in as giving chase and trying to make the pay. play was Anthony Pamplin. But here go the Bruins as Jan Gobe on the puck behind the net. Centering attempt. Tries to pick out Miller, but that pass intercepted. As the attempt blocked and now it's secured here with Eric Hooley on the puck. He's got a player going to the net, tries to feed the pass as that was Nick Bullock crashing in, but unable to catch it, and now an offside called with a minute 20 to go in the period. Let us know who you're cheering on, where you're watching from. We'll get to some viewer shout outs throughout the broadcast, including one for Tessa Rankin, who had a great tournament herself in her first ever Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament, picking up four assists before sustaining an injury. Dante Giammarioli tries to feed a cross ice pass. It's broken up, but secured now by Ben Ho Lung. Ho Lung does well to hold the zone here for the Rangers. As they press and try to get something going offensively, 45 seconds remaining in the period. Del Grande, who put up at least seven points between his two games yesterday, tries to feed it back to the half wall. 30 seconds remaining. Dug out by Giammarioli, nothing doing yet. Del Grande in the corner. Checking his options, that one knocked loose and now Rankin tries to clear it. 20 seconds to go. Giammarioli tied up against the 
half wall as he tries to make a play. Feeding it over to Emily McLean. McLean shovels that towards the hash marks, but picked off by Renault. And now with just seven seconds to play here in the period, a scrum for possession in front of the Rangers bench. And that'll do it as the puck in the net, but it won't count. No clean pass and the buzzer had sounded. So after one period of play in the bronze medal game, it's the Bruins two, Rangers one. Well, what a weekend of hockey it has been. And it's winding down here on Championship Sunday. Just one more game after this one. Which honestly is actually kind of crazy to think about how many games were jammed in this weekend between Friday morning at 9.30 and then this afternoon when the gold medal game goes. Here at Parasport TV, we will have streamed a total of 19 games. Me personally, I'll have called 15 when it's all said and done. Bensi, you got any suggestions for me on how to recover the voice after this? Oh, there's the doctor's order. 64 lozenges over the next next three days. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been living off lozenges the last 24 hours. That's for sure. Second period of play about to get underway in this bronze medal game between the Bruins and the Rangers. A quick shout out here for Tammy and Bob Lowe cheering on Randy Banks, Wade Del Grande, and all their Ice Owl teammates. And we're underway with the second period of play here. As the Bruins dig the puck loose and start to work up the near side wall. Trajan Hansman tries to rip it around. It goes all the way around the far side boards before it's smacked at by I believe that was Gusev who made the play there defensively and now it's shot out through center ice where it'll be tracked down by Paul Schmold from Edmonton. Brian Cowie in the fray as Cowie digs out the loose puck. Nice job that time as he feeds the pass ahead for Hansman. The Bruins coming out with some good pep in their step as Hansman rides his man into the boards hard. Brandon Joy getting the worst of that but Joy is a really tough customer and he shakes it off as if it were nothing. Gusev, he'll pick up the puck inside his own defensive zone. That clearance picked off. Hooley comes up with it. Hooley trying to make a clean pass. Finds an option in Bullock, but it just got away from his positioning. And now the Bruins trying to take advantage in the offensive zone with that pass off the mark. And here goes Hooley up the ice. Some great comments coming in on the live chat thread. We'll get to those in a few moments. But here goes Hooley into the zone for the Rangers. Tries to shovel that pass intended for Pamplin. Broken up on that effort by Sitska Morgan. As she played in the Canada-USA game earlier today. And Sitska Morgan, I thought, did very well playing a few shifts on defense in that one. Shot from the point, gets blocked after it came off the stick of Roland Art. Shot right on and Tiumaki, the big M with another big save as he keeps his team in front two to one. Quick shout outs to WG Rogers cheering on the Rangers, Tammy from Toronto, Hussein saying this is one of the best blind hockey tournaments I've ever viewed. It just keeps getting better year after year. Shout out for Glenda Miller cheering on Zach Miller and the Bruins from Vancouver. And we'll get to a few more shout outs throughout the game. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. And we'll be sure to read your comment out as well. But here go the Bruins breaking out on their own side of center ice. Jan Gobey. Gobey has it stripped away from him inside the blue line. Gian Morielli comes up with it. Griffith stepped in his path as she made a good defensive play. And now Gobey tries to kick it free. Giamarioli can't come away with it off the half wall as the puck cleared through the neutral zone. Del Grande gives chase, trying to track down Gobey. Centering attempt, 
Great defensive block that time by Laura Mark. Here goes Don, uh, Joseph Del Grande. Del Grande into the zone, needs to make a pass, finds an outlet there as Emily McLean with him. McLean dropped it back for Del Grande and now Giammarioli tries to come away with it. At the point, shot attempt, McLean deflected that one high, would have been threatening if it made it on net after the initial shot was released by Roland Arndt. Behind the net, the Bruins use the boards, cleared to the point but not out after Joy had it in initially. Check that, that was Dylan Bradbury there making the play on the second effort though brought down the ice here by the Bruins. Trying to flick it over to the far side post, nothing doing with 11 minutes remaining in the period. That shot from the blue line, knocked down, good defensive work that time by Arndt, as his stretch outlet pass got blocked, and now streaking up for it is Curtis Ruddle. Ruddle tries to drop pass for his dad, James, as thunder and lightning crashing into the Opposing zone as it's dug out along the boards that time by Ben Ho Lung. Willer, he tried to feed the pass over to Curtis Ruddle, but it was broken up and now on the delayed offside, it'll give Willer a chance to break out here for the Rangers. 10 10 to go in the period. Willer in there. Stick handling, he's all alone, he needs support. Now picks out a teammate as it's quickly returned to Willer from Ruddle. That was Curtis Ruddle who set up the pass for Willer. As here go the Bruins led by Sean Dale. Dale brings it into the attacking side of center ice all the way down low before it's swept away by that effort from Josh Schneider. The puck doesn't clear the blue line though. So the Bruins keep the pressure Mounting here as Gilles Ouellette on the forward check. But on the second effort, the Rangers clear that. The puck rolling on its edge, but won't have enough for icing. 9.25 to go in the second period. Gusev fires that down the ice again. Not enough weight for an icing call, so Brandon Joy has time to set up the breakout here. Tightly checking, closely contested game as just offside at the blue line was Anthony Pam Pamplin. It's the Bruins two, Rangers one, nine minutes to go in the second period. Great comments coming in on the live chat thread including one from Ansku says, sad the tournament is over but happy that the big M Marcus Tuomaku makes another save, is coming home soon. You know, maybe one day in the near, not too distant future, we'll have an international series taking place in Finland with a Finnish national team as eight players coming over this year from Finland. They continue to grow that program. And I gotta say, I'm so impressed with the play of Marcus Tuomaki here this weekend. Last time I saw him play live was 2018 at a development camp and he has improved leaps and bounds as a goaltender since that experience in Burnaby. No doubt one of the top goalies here in the open division this year. As there's a shot from the point and a good job by Vandermeer to track it after it came off the stick of Randy Banks. And a big save there by Vandermeer to keep this a one goal game. Well we anticipate the goaltending change and it looks like the Rangers are gonna be the first to make that switch. And the Bruins will follow suit as we get the timeout called for the goaltending change. And Vandermeer leaving this game on a high note with that pad save, as he'll be replaced by big save Dave Brown. And at the other end, Marcus Tiumaki trying to find his water bottle and Gets escorted off the ice to a big round of applause as Aaron Prebo will take over the net from Tiumaki.
Quick shout out for Jose watching from Montreal, cheering on Alain Reynaud. Karen, proud Ant cheering on Anthony Pamplin and the Rangers. And Molly cheering for the Bruins. And Ansku says, yes, come to Finland. Play a tournament here. Well, I think we're working our way there. There was a great development camp a few years ago in Finland, and I know the players from Canadian Blind Hockey that went over had nothing but just amazing things to say about that experience. But back to the bronze medal action on the ices. Randy Banks jarred away from Emily McLean. Now it's Dante Giamaroli who takes a sharp angle shot from the corner and he scores a beauty. Giamarioli gets the goal and the Rangers tie this game. Excuse me, the Bruins take a 3-1 lead in this game. No, excuse me, it is the Rangers. I got confused by our PA announcer as Brian Floyd called it a Bruins goal, but Giamarioli in yellow and he does tie this game at two. So how about that response from the Rangers and that sharp angle shot from Dante Giamarioli. And now the game officials having a quick word with the score clock operator as the clock running here, so they'll have to stop it and reset it. Now this could be a matter of timing and keeping things on track as the gold medal game is supposed to go in a little less than an hour from now. But both benches are going to get an explanation here and it's going to be running time the rest of the way by the look of it. As though, although right now it's stopped at seven minutes so uh, we'll figure this out as it goes. And we will run the clock here so timing being an issue I think there's a few bookings on the ice after us and we only have the ice till 4 p.m. today, so got to make sure we stay on time. As time continues to tick off the clock, second period of play, about six minutes remaining, and we're all square, 2-2 between the Rangers and the Bruins after that goal by Dante Giamarioli. Laura Mark digs the puck out of the far corner, and here go the Rangers, Willer. Sustains a slash from Ian Rankin and draws a penalty. And it'll be a power play for the Rangers moments after they've tied this game at two. Rankin doesn't like the call, shakes his head as he goes to the box, but you could hear that whack from up here. So Dante Giamarioli with his second of the game and not a bad debut for Giamarioli in the open division after getting the call up from the youth division here at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Great comments coming in on the live chat thread. We'll get to a few in a moment, but here goes Willer. Stick handling the puck into the zone for the Rangers. A minute 30 remaining on the power play. They dig the puck out for Roland Arndt. Arndt tries to shovel it forward, but that time the path impeded as Pamplin tried to provide an outlet and now Arndt has it in his skates. His pocket picked by Willette. Laura Mark in the far corner. Minute 15 remaining on the power play. James Ruddle, he advances that one up. Hooley into the attacking zone. Has a player with him, tries to feed it over, but just out of the reach of Pamplin. Pamplin centers back for Hooley, whips a shot, that one off the end boards. Pamplin centers it once again. That attempt off the stick of bullet gets blocked. And now picked up by Yari Gusev. But they can't clear the zone on the initial attempt, nor the second one. But on the third try, Sean Dale flips it down the ice. Cycling out is Hooley, he opts to leave it there for Bullock. Closed down immediately, but Bullock comes away with it, and now he's working that left wing with speed. Bullock tries the drop pass intended for Hooley, but intercepted, and now here goes Hansman. 
Krajan Hansman. Again, so impressed with Hansman's play this weekend, but even more impressive after learning he's just 14 years old. Looks like a grown man out there. He's got to be well over six feet tall. As the puck into the far corner after that defensive play by Brian Cowie, who tries to feather it ahead. Hansman and Rankin now out of the box. This could be a break for the Bruins. Rankin drops to Hansman, shoots, and he whipped that one high and just wide of the target. So a good penalty kill there by the Bruins. But here goes Dante Giammarioli, already with two in the game. His pass blocked by Gianna Griffiths. Great play by her, and now it's on the stick of Hansman. Hansman tries to sauce that one over, but it's blocked. Shot attempt, and that one just goes wide of the net as it came off the stick of Sean Dale. We get a couple of the Team USA players behind me, and boys, I'll say hi to you in just a moment as Dan the Man Shram and Dirk Morgan popping into the booth. Guys, it's great to see you here. We'll get you on the mic in a moment, too, if you guys want. Awesome. Two and a half minutes remaining in the period, though. We're deadlocked at two in this bronze medal game. Cycling around with the puck, Giammarioli. He tries to shake the defender, but that time he has to go back to the point. Joy tees up a shot. Ricocheting. Oh, what a save. Prevo keeps that one out after two deflections, and it found its way on goal. All right, so we got Dan the Man Shram here with me. Daniel, how you doing, buddy? I'm tired, but I'm doing so well. It was an amazing weekend. And Nico, I just want to thank you for, for being the voice for all of us out there. I might sound a little hoarse because I was doing a bit of talking myself, but I appreciate the nick nicknames and uh, you're doing a great job for us. Uh, that's very kind of you to say thank you, my friend. And you know, congratulations to you and your Team USA teammates. What a gutsy series that you guys played, and Dan having a great game yesterday. We'll catch up with Dirk Morgan in just a second, but here go the Bruins. Good chip pass ahead as they try to pick out Zach Miller. Miller working the near side wall, but that's stripped away. Excellent defensive play there by Curtis Ruddle, and then we get the whistle for the offside. So Dirk, one of my favorite people here. Dirk, how are you doing, buddy? Good, Nico, how are you doing, buddy? Excellent. <laughs> now, I don't know if you heard about the line I had yesterday when you took on Dustin Butterfield. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the Battle of the uh, Agriculture. That's right, yeah, the Battle <laughs> yeah, of the Agriculture. I, yeah. And the fisherman gets the better of the yeah. farmer, so congratulations, <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man, it was, a, it was a heck of a series. Uh, you know, Canada's got an amazing group of guys and they're really privileged to play against them, but it was, a, it was a great weekend, a great series. Absolutely, a phenomenal series. We got 45 seconds left in the period here, so let's get back to the action on the ice as Alain Renault tracks the puck back inside his own zone. Curtis, uh, sorry, James Ruddle got a piece of that, but now it's controlled by Sean Dale. Dale tied up at center ice. Nice work there by Eric Hooley to tie up the man. Hooley now comes away with it. 25 seconds to go in the period. Hooley across the blue line, trying to make a clean pass. He's got James Ruddle behind him. Drops it to Ruddle. Sharp angle shot, never quite made it on net. 15 seconds to play here in the bronze medal game of the Open Division at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. And we've got a penalty coming against the Rangers as Dale brings it into the zone for the Bruins. Makes the pass over to Willette. Diving effort by Hooley. That ends the period, and the Bruins will start the third on the power play. Well, Dirk, it's always great to catch up with you, buddy. I know that was a tough series. It was a physical series. How are you feeling? Hopefully no injuries this weekend. No, not too bad. I actually got a, I just got a minor cut on my hand from a fellow teammate get bailing over the boards, but that, other than that, nothing major. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that relatively unscathed. And uh, take me back a little bit to that game yesterday. Nail biter, first time USA takes Canada to overtime. Going into that third period, you guys were trailing by two. Yeah. But Ian and I both set it up here. The confidence you all were playing with, we just had a feeling you were going to come back. And yeah, I'm Canadian, but I was so proud of you and your group yesterday for that gutsy effort. No, thanks. We appreciate it. We we try to approach the game with a new mindset that we're not just going to try and survive this game. We, that we wanted to to win it. And, yeah. and you know we really gave it everything we had and you know we had a, some puck luck and then we had at the end we had that one that hit the crossbar I believe yeah, at the yeah. end of the overtime but it, it was anyone's game you know 
it was anyone's series at that point. But uh, you know, the Canadians are in a great group of guys, and they deserve the win. And it was, you know, it was a well-fought victory for them. Absolutely, it was. It was one hell of a series, and uh, you know, again, we, I, I couldn't be more proud of the way Team USA played all weekend, but especially that game yesterday. It, even today, I mean. Technically nothing to play for today, but you guys showed so much heart out there, so much spirit. And I gotta think it was pretty cool to play with your sister Sitska there in a yeah. Team USA Canada game. Yeah, I've, I've been waiting years for Sitska to be able to get on the team with me. It's been yeah. like a little dream of ours that we'd be on the team together. Yeah. And so it, it's great to be able to have that opportunity and, and be able to play with my sister. And, and now I get to sit here and, uh, and enjoy her game and watch her play in this awesome champion or uh, semifinal championship round. A absolutely. I got one last question for you. Absolutely. Did you happen to bring me any lobster this uh, time? I didn't bring any, uh. man. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been on the boat for a year, man. It's been oh, rough. Oh, jeez, come on. I didn't know that. Yeah, I moved to Maryland, so I've been. Oh, I, wow. I, I've, I've only been going when I go up for vacation, working vacation. Okay, so. there you go. All yeah. right. Yeah, man. And congratulations on your, on your, you got to. Your, your wife's pregnant, right? Yeah, we're expecting. That's, that's, we found out we're having man. a baby boy. That's very kind very, of you. Thank very exciting, you, my man. friend. I, I really appreciate it. We didn't mean to interrupt you. We just wanted to come over. No, and say no, hi you know what? I'm so happy you guys did. As we begin the third period of play here in the bronze medal game between the Rangers and the Bruins, and it's hard for me to sneak away from the booth and get a chance to catch up with you guys. So I appreciate that you guys did come over. And Dirk, it's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, please give my best to Mr. Haley and Ted Reeve as well when you head home, all right? Absolutely. <laughs> all right, third period of play underway. We're deadlocked 2-2, and it's a power play to start the third here for the Bruins. But shorthanded, here go the Rangers. Working it up the wing is Curtis Ruddle. Dan, thank you as always. A pleasure. Dan, the man, Shram, and Dirk Morgan, two of the members from Team USA. As here go the... Rangers, there's a shot right on, and Prevo has to make a good save on that short-handed chance fired off by Curtis Ruddle. Keep the comments coming in on the live chat thread. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. We'll get to a few shout-outs, including one for Babul, who's cheering on Nick Bullock and the Rangers. We'll get to a few more as the action on the ice resumes. Third period of play, 50 seconds remaining in the power play for the Bruins, and here they go on the attack as it's controlled by Miller. Makes Trying to make the pass over to Gobey, but a bit of contact in the crease, and we'll have the whistle put a stoppage with a minute and a half gone in the third, 20 seconds remaining on the power play. Gobey at center, Sitska Morgan on the right wing, Zach Miller on the left wing, and they draw the puck over to Miller. Back to the point. Randy Banks fires one. That one blocked in front. Danger still present as it gets scrummed over to the near side wall. Banks shoots again, and big save Dave Brown with the blocker stop. Miller, what a pass from his backside. He picks out Gobey behind the net. Power play now over. Miller can't quite get it on target as they shovel it out through center ice. Brandon Joy coming out of the box, wanted to get sprung for the rush, but they couldn't feed him the pass. And now it's connected and controlled by Ben Ho-Lung. Flipped around the boards, Ho-Lung there as well. There again as well as now it's controlled here by the Rangers out of their zone, led by Anthony Pamplin, quickly stripped away. Here goes Jan Gobe for the Bruins. That was tight at the blue line, but they just stayed onside. As scrumming for the puck, and it's sent down the ice inside the Bruins zone. We're getting to it first. Was Jason Willard. He tries to feather a pass in front for Dante Giamarioli, but that's broken up. Shot from the point. As letting it go was Ho Lung, but that attempt blocked, and now the Rangers hustle back inside their own zone to take possession. 16.45 to go in the third. We're all square 2-2. It's the bronze medal game at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Giammarioli got a stick to that loose puck but couldn't actually corral it. And now Willer lifts it in with a high backhander behind the net where it's tracked down by Paul Schmold from Edmonton. As a delayed offside forces the whistle and the stoppage with 6.20 to go in the third. 16.20, excuse me. 
Ansku, Ansku from Finland saying Finland needs all the colors from the open division. We've got a bronze. We already surely have silver and gold from the next game. We need the bronze in this one. As Yari Gusev, part of the Bruins team, and Marcus Tumaki as well. And both of those Finns have played well in this game. But here goes Willer behind the net and no with a scrum in the crease. We're gonna get a whistle and a stoppage here. 15.45 to play. Shout outs as well for Zach Miller from Grandpa Billy and Grandma Darlene in Kelowna as, long, as well as Mom, Dad and Auntie Carmen cheering on the Bruins. A big shout out as well to Kathy cheering on Jason Willer. And Corrine says family from across Canada, from BC to Newfoundland are cheering on. This might be the best comment yet. Bill Oxford still watching and enjoying the game. It's much better than decorating the house. Fully agree, Bill. Thank you for tuning in all the way from England. And we've had great viewership across the globe this weekend. We've had viewers from Australia, from Italy, from England, from Finland. We had a viewer from Belgium, a viewer from France, let alone the coast to coast to coast viewership across Canada and the United States. The Rangers tracking the puck back inside their own zone. Hansman makes the pass, that shot from the half wall. Turned away as Yoni Coco, the other Finn out there for the Bruins and Coco swiping away at it and just denied that opportunity. Here goes Hooley streaking up, he's all alone there for the Rangers. Has some support now in the form of Bullock. Can't feed him the pass. It's turned over and this could be a break for the Bruins. But Brian Cowie can't get away from the back check of Eric Hooley and now the puck sent in deep. Delayed offside so that'll give Brandon Joy a chance to control it here for the Rangers with 14 minutes to go in the third. Gian Morielli picks it up. Tries to get around the defender. Banks does well to tie up his man Willer and he does a great job not committing a penalty on the tie-up. Maybe got an extra hack or two in on him as he dragged him like a fish across water. You like that reference, I Dirk? Do, I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but Banks gets away with it and Willer protests, claiming a penalty should have been called, nothing doing. And with 13 and a half minutes remaining, we are still square, 2-2. What a bronze medal game here at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Nice work as that puck knocked down by Miller. He tries to advance it in with Jan Gobey. This is the top line for the Bruins as Morgan, Gobey, and Miller out there getting a shift. And they're trying to make a positive impact here to break the deadlock. As Griffiths makes a good defensive play at her own blue line. Morgan got dumped behind the play, wanted a call, nothing doing. Giamorielli, he pushes Griffiths off the pucks, but quickly retained by the Rangers. Roland Art to the near side. Advances that one over as it's controlled by Jason Willer. Giamorielli can't get a clean shot away. Arndt takes the attempt. It goes off the backboards. Willer tries to jam it in along with I believe that was Curtis Ruddle in the fray. It was Curtis, as here goes Dante Giamorielli. Oh, what a move, stick handling his way through a trio of defenders and the shot just went wide. Sending the attempt, Prevo with the big save, the rebound pops out. Roland Arndt, he tees up one from the point. That goes off a shin pad. Sharp angle shot attempt by Willers block. Centering pass all the way outside of the zone where Laura Mark corrals it with 11.55 to play in the third. So nice job by the Bruins to sustain the pressure and withhold the storm as Randy Banks sends it down the ice but not enough for icing. So it'll be secured by the Rangers as Josh Snyder starts to break out. Giamorielli looks for a long stretch pass and he picks out Emily McLean. McLean in there, checking her passing options. Pulls it back as it's on the stick of Ben Ho Lung who tries to fire it in front but can't quite get 
That pass completed and the teams will scrum for it through the neutral zone. Great pass by Joseph Del Grande, picks out Giamorielli, over to McLean, and McLean back, oh what a save by Prevo on the one-timer, tight to the net. Prevo got the paddle down and stonewalled Giamorielli with that chance. That could have been the go-ahead goal for the Rangers if not for some spectacular Goaltending by Prevo, and now here go the Bruins. Ian Rankin to the backhand. He just puts it over top the net. Sean Dale trying to dig away with it. This is the other top unit for the Bruins. This line of Dale, Rankin, and Willette. And now Dale has the puck at the top of the blue line. Sends it to the far side half wall. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the third. This better not go to overtime. I don't think my voice can hang on. <laughs> Somebody get a goal. <laughs> Lots of time left here as Ian Rankin sends the puck in deep. It's a real nail biter, 2-2. Two, two. We're all square here as we approach the midway mark of the third period. Here goes Eric Hooley bringing it ahead for the Rangers. Across the attacking blue line, Hooley straight up the middle of the ice. Needs to make an outlet pass. Now has a couple of options in the form of Bullock and Pamplin, but Hooley trapped in the corner and the puck turned over. Nathan Tree makes a good, smart defensive play to clear the zone. As now it's controlled by Sean Dale at center ice. Stripped off his stick. Here goes Hooley. Plays it to the near side wall where it'll be picked up by Yoni Coco. Coco able to muscle it out across the line. Fired right back in and it'll be secured by Alain Renault. The Bruins breaking out as Coco checks his passing options. Threads the needle and finds the player coming off the bench in the form of Hansman. But Brandon Joy there defensively. And now digging away for it is Anthony Pamplin. Pamplin does well to tie up Tree but can't come away with the puck as here goes Trajan Hansman. Hansman chips it into the near side corner, gives chase. A couple of players crashing hard into the boards including Dylan Bradbury but He's one tough customer, pops right back up. And now here go the Bruins, led by Willer. Excuse me, the Rangers. Willer taking it in, tries the drop pass. Shot attempt goes wide a target as Bullock was there for the opportunity. Bullock trying to spin off the defensive check, nothing doing as he was marked tightly and now Rankin able to chip the puck out through center ice. Hansman in pursuit of it here against the defenseman in the form of Brandon Joy. Hansman went right through Joy. Joy can't believe there's no penalty on that one. And then Willer gets dumped as the physical play picking up and the coaching staff from the Rangers not thrilled about the lack of calls on the last two big hits. Puck brought into the zone is digging away for it. That time was Hansman but it's Promptly out to center ice before it's fired back in. The team's exchanging possession with 7.50 to go in the third. Nice job here by Curtis Ruddle to shield the puck into the zone. Tries the drop pass just off the mark as he tried to pick out Dante Giamarioli. Ruddle, that's Curtis Lightning Ruddle who comes up with it. Now James Thunder Ruddle tries to play it forward. Thunder and Lightning out there trying to create a storm. And here goes Giamarioli, makes the pass to Curtis Ruddle, but he couldn't corral it for a clean opportunity. And now Laura Mark makes a physical play along the board. She's not gonna be pushed around or intimidated as Hansman gets tied up with her. And Mark says, get away from me. And she shoves him out and Laura Mark playing tough as nails out there. Ooh, a knee on knee and open ice there. That was a bad collision. Both players seemingly okay. Here go the Rangers back the other way. The two players tied up there. It was Zach Miller and Roland Arndt. And good to see that both of those guys skating under their own feet after that inadvertent knee on knee. 6.45 to go in the third. Dante Giamarioli takes it down low, takes the shot. He's got two, but that time he gets denied the hat-trick. Centers out front, Joseph Del Grande there, but Gianna Griffiths closes him down and blocks that shot attempt. Aren't trying to hold the zone. Emily McLean can't swipe it free. Furious action here with six and a half minutes remaining. 
It's the bronze medal game at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. And now here goes Jan Gobey for the Bruins. He's got Rankin coming off the bench. Gobey wanted to pass it near side, but Rankin had cut into the middle, and that puts an end to that threat. Del Grande pushing and shoving in front of the Bruins bench, and now Sean Dale tries to keep it away from Giammarioli. Dale comes away with the puck, and he looks to spring and attack the other way for the Bruins. Rankin streaking up the ice for the passing option. Dale can't feed it to him. He's still got a player trailing as well in the form of Gobey, but they never could locate him. Now the clean pass made. Held in at the point only for a moment by Paul Schmold of Edmonton, and now here goes Eric Hooley. Makes the pass over, and Bullock gets run off the puck. Excellent back check there by Gusev to negate that. Puck played in front of the Bruins bench as they make some changes on the fly. Handsman coming off the ice. The Rangers wanted a call for too many skaters, but here goes Sean Dale, centering for Ian Rankin, and the puck just trailed away from him as Josh Snyder didn't like that. And now here goes Eric Hooley. Hooley, Rankin hustling back, strips the puck away from Bullock. Ripped around the boards. Handsman unable to clear the zone as... Falling and blowing the tire there was Schneider, but he somehow has kept the puck pinned in the zone despite taking a bit of a headlock there from Hansman. Physical play really picking up as Gusev got hit there and Hooley laying the body. No calls, play continuing on. Four and a half minutes. Ian Rankin gets clobbered in open ice. These referees have got to rein things in here a little bit. It's getting a little bit reckless out there with some of these hits. And Ian Rankin... He's laboring, heading over to the bench right now. <coughs> well, to quote Sophie from France, ouch, this is gonna hurt tomorrow. Yeah, the last five minutes of play have been black and blue and tough sledding for sure for both teams. Big shout outs as well to Kathy watching from Grand Coulee, Saskatchewan and Perry Dallas who loves the thunder and lightning nicknames for Curtis and James Ruddle. James Thunder Ruddle, Curtis Lightning Ruddle. Thunder and lightning. And they're tearing it up out there this weekend for the Rangers. And now the Rangers bring the puck in, but that time a stride offside. So with three and a half minutes remaining and a running clock here in the third until the final two minutes. This one's coming down to the wire. 2-2, two, two. it's the bronze medal game at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament as we get a timeout called here by the Rangers bench. Hussein chiming in, love the intensity, not even the Battle of Alberta has this much intensity anymore. Yeah, I mean, no kidding, one team's got Connor McDavid, the other team doesn't. No, I'm kidding, Hussein. We love to hear from you, and we can't wait to have you out at one of these events in the near future. Our biggest fan from Edmonton. Mark Antoine Hool chiming in. It's Hool, not Hooli. Thank you. On the sheet, it's written down as Hooli, but I knew Eric was French, and I felt like that might not be right. So Eric Hool having himself a great tournament this weekend for the Rangers. And let's see, a couple of more quick shout outs here during the timeout. As who do we have chiming in? We have Molly cheering on the Bruins. Karen cheering on the Rangers. And Glenda cheering on the Bruins. Keep them coming. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. We'll get to some viewer shout outs. But with three minutes remaining in the third of this tied bronze medal game, the Rangers bring the puck in the zone. Curtis Ruddle, shot right on. They try banking out of midair, and oh, Willer just missed the net with that attempt after the first great save by Aaron Prevo. So close, Willer, wraparound backhander attempt, and that goes wide. The net is off its peg, so we'll get the whistle. 2.45 to play in the third. This is getting intense, it's getting sweaty, it's getting crunchy. And it's coming down to crunch time with two and a half to play in the third period. Deadlocked in a 2-2 game. 
between the Bruins and the Rangers for the bronze medal matchup at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. From the face-off, the Rangers try scrum for possession, but the Bruins have it at least temporarily. Now it's played back to the line. Bradbury over to Joy. He gets closed down as Miller in the fray for the Bruins. They cleared across the line and an offside called with two minutes remaining in the third period. Shout out to Indiana Miller cheering on Zach from Halifax. And Perry says that'll happen when you try to rock a brick wall. Absolutely. As there's a centering pass attempt blocked out and now Sean Dale has it. He uses the boards to clear that one down the ice but not enough there for icing. So Brandon Joy feeds it out through the center circle where Sean Dale had it momentarily. Willer, Giammarioli with him. They make a good clean pass. Giammarioli tries the toe drag but the puck stripped away and now just 90 seconds remaining in the third period. Willer, great move around the first defender but lost it to the second. However, the Rangers hold the zone. Giammarioli, down low from the goal line, cycling to the far side of the net. Bodies crashing in front of the crease. Giammarioli trying to get a shooting lane. Fanned on the first attempt, shovels it towards the net. Willer takes a couple of whacks at it. Griffiths with a huge block. And now we're down to the final minute of play in the third period of this bronze medal game as Willer takes the shot right on. And Prevo just keeps that one out. He had the pad pinned to the post to make that save. Dirk Morgan getting excited up here. He let out a huge, woo, that's okay, brother. <laughs> it's all good, it's exciting stuff. And we're just 56 seconds away from overtime. Hussein asking, where will this year's summer camp be? Stay tuned to the Canadian Blind Hockey social media channels as we get a timeout on the ice called by the Bruins for all the latest announcements in terms of upcoming events and camps. There's a lot of exciting stuff on the horizon. So make sure you check out CanadianBlindHockey.com or follow across social media for all the latest updates and events. Lana Ruddle chiming in with a great point. They better get two sets of bronze medals ready. Both of these teams deserving of that today. All right, Timo, I'm going to give this a try because you're tuning in all the way from Helsinki. Nyet Yoni Impurepuni. Finish them, Coco. I, I am so sorry for my butchering of your beautiful language. But with just 56.8 seconds remaining on the game clock, big offensive zone draw. Giammarioli tries to scrum for it. Bodies crashing all around. Picked up by Brandon Joy at the point. Giammarioli gets it after the clean pass, but just as quickly, Ian Rankin strips it away, and this could be a break. Rankin makes the pass, shoots. Oh, what a save, big save. Dave Brown saves the game as Jan Gobe had a clear break in, and then behind the play, an injured Bruins player. I think that's Rankin who's down. Tough couple minutes, and yes, he's down, and he is in significant pain. He's not moving at all. 25.9 seconds remaining on the game clock. Rankin got tied up after making that pass over to Gobey and he crashed hard to the ice and he'll get some medical attention here. And hopefully nothing serious for the Windsor, Ontario native Ian Rankin. But they are checking out his head and they're being extra cautious after that hard collision. So obviously some significant concern here with the injury to Rankin as the medics talking to him and a little bit of movement and now he's gonna be able to get himself up. Rankin tough as nails. You have to applaud that. 
No quit in that young man's game. The heart of a champion. And he's trying to do everything possible to help his team to the bronze medal. Great show of sportsmanship there from Brandon Joy, who made sure Rankin was okay, gave him a bit of a hug. It may have been Joy that tied up with Rankin in that sequence. And both teams will have to regroup here with just 25.9 seconds remaining on the game clock. And the faceoff coming up to the left of the Bruins goaltender, Aaron Prevo. So Dante Giammarioli gets set to take the draw for the Rangers and I believe it's Jan Gobey in there for the Bruins. Puck scrum to the near side wall. Shot from the point. That one off the outside of the net as Brandon Joy let it rip from the point. 15 seconds to go. Under pressure, Nathan Tree tries to keep it pinned in the corner. Shot attempt. Prevo gets just enough of that shot from Anthony Pamplin to deflect it wide. One timer from Pamplin after the centering pass. And for the second time this weekend, we are going to overtime. I definitely jinx that. That is my fault. Nothing better than an overtime. Yeah, Dirk said it best. Nothing better than an overtime. Who doesn't like some bonus hockey? And that's what we're getting here in the bronze medal game of the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Now, let me double check my rule sheet, but yeah, we're gonna have a five minute three on three overtime. And if we're still tied, we'll do an NHL style shootout. So get your popcorn ready, refill the bevy. Can't forget the bev, never, never. And get ready for overtime. Both teams at their benches getting a little extra strategy and support here. And remember, don't go anywhere, because at the conclusion of this game, we have the gold medal matchup between the Wings and the Hawks. But first, we got to find out who's taking home the bronze medals. Will it be the Bruins or the Rangers? Overtime about to come down and about to get going. Jason Yuan, Joe Fernazier behind the Bruins bench trying to cheer them on. Little Joe's dad, Frank, one of the coaches on the benches this weekend for the Bruins. As they try, hype them up. Here we go, three on three overtime. Let's get it done. It's overtime in the bronze medal game. Sitska Morgan, she takes the puck up the wing. Immediately she's bodied off it, but she hustles back and now Randy Banks takes possession for the Bruins. It's Banks, Morgan, and Hansman out there for the Bruins. And here goes Sitska Morgan into the zone at the hash marks, checking her options, but closed down. Good work there by Jason Willer. It's Willer, Giammarioli, and Del Grande out there for the Rangers to start overtime. Giammarioli picks up the puck from Banks. He's got to make a clean pass in the zone. Tries to pick out Del Grande. Cleared to the line, but not out. Shot. Oh, what a save. The rebound sitting there. Big pad save from Prevo as he drops to the butterfly and kicks that one out. Willer steps in from the blue line. At the faceoff dot, shoots. Fearless block by Randy Banks as it goes off his shin pads. And now picked up by Trajan Hansman. Can't clear the zone though, what a play by Dante Giamorielli. Makes the pass over to Del Grande. Oh, a diving save by Aaron Primo. His best Mark andre Fleury impression. Diving post to post and saving that one in overtime. Unbelievable, that might be the save of the weekend right there. And after that, I might have to give Aaron Primo a nickname. He was bugging me last night saying, how come I don't have a nickname yet? I said, you gotta earn it. I think he just earned one after that save. Yeah. And we'll come up with something better than A.A. Ron. I'll tell you that right now, Prev. What a save. 
As from the faceoff, they scrum for possession. The Rangers can't quite come up with it. And now here goes Gilles Ouellette for the Bruins. A Rangers player has lost their stick. Here goes Jan Gobey. Gobey's got a couple passing options. Picks out Ouellette, but he can't handle it. And now back the other way goes Dante Giamorielli. Giamorielli, he's got no support as of yet. Now a couple players into the zone, but it's picked off. And here goes Jan Gobey. Trying to streak up the ice. Gilles Ouellette trying to give an outlet option. Gobey tries to feed it back for Tree, but that's broken up. Nathan Tree does well to get a skate on that puck. And now it's picked off by Gobey. Here come the Bruins. Great move by Gobey. Feeds it over to Gilles Ouellette. But his stick lifted, and now Dante Giamorielli back the other way. He's got Bullock streaking up into the zone. 2.50 remaining in overtime. Great back check to break up the pass there by Gobey as Bullock tried to feed it back over to Giamorielli. Giamorielli out of the corner. His first attempt blocked by Gobey. Jan Gobey stick handles behind his own net. Two and a half minutes to go in overtime. <laughs> Could we be heading to a shootout? Don't go anywhere. This is edge of your seat stuff as Nathan Tree gets the puck in deep. It'll be secure, Dirk Morgan going, he's running up and down the concourse. He's gone into coaching mode here. As it's picked up by Hool, Eric Hool up the far side wing. Brian Cowie tries to cut off his path. Hool gets past him, tries the centering pass for Bullock, but just off the mark. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Sean Dale scoops it up, tries to wheel out the far side. His pocket picked. A good clean pass made there by the Rangers, but just as quick, Dale clears it out through center ice. Knocked away initially by Schneider, as now it's controlled by Eric Hool. He gets it to the line, but Gianna Griffiths able to hold the zone. Bookmark that, that could be a huge play. Dale, sharp angle, shot right on net! Oh, and big save, Dave Brown! just closes the five hole with a minute 30 left in OT. This is intense, this is wild. This is what it's all about right here in the bronze medal game of the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Everyone in this building is buzzing right now. As Giamarioli faces off there against Miller. Giamarioli for the Rangers wins it but can't clear the zone. Miller tries to pin him in deep. Dante starts to wheel. They've yet to start the game clock here. So we're getting some extra overtime action. They still have not started the game clock. Giamarioli shoots. Big save. Can they tap it home? No. Primo there for two huge stops in OT. So we got some bonus, bonus hockey on that rush. As we've got a minute 25 now remaining. Giamarioli sets to square off for the draw. Trajan Hansman in there for the Bruins. Hansman tries to knock it forward to the point. Giamarioli gets a touch on it. Prevo with the initial stick save and then Banks rips it up the boards. Pass Brandon Joy and Hansman trying to battle here. He's got Gobey heading to the net, makes the pass. Gobey shoots off the post and he buries it on the rebound. The Bruins win it with 104 left in overtime. Jan Gobey gets the game winner. And the Bruins are your bronze medalists here at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. What a game. What an ending. And what a shame that both teams can't get bronze medals because they both deserve it. But the Bruins win on the OT winner from Jan Gobey. What a game. We're gonna stay with it here for the medal presentation as the Bruins will receive their bronze medals. A couple quick shout outs here on the broadcast, including one for Lana Ruddle. Michael Haley chiming in saying, go Bruins and thank you for the kind words. How about the play of Ted Reeve here this weekend, eh Mr. Haley? 
Ted Reed, the underspoken MVP in my opinion. Inside joke there. Absolutely love Hollywood and Mike as well. Missed you guys up here this year. Hope you're doing well. So the bronze medal game goes to the Bruins in an absolute nail biter that came down to 64 seconds remaining in overtime before Ian Gobe finished it off. Ansku saying, yes, we got all the colors. Finland will go home with a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Congratulations to the Bruins and the Finns on their team, including Marcus Tiomaki. Yoni Koko and Yari Gusev. So a bit of a change in format and we won't do the medal presentations on the ice because with that game going to overtime, we're actually a little bit behind schedule at this point. So we won't stick with it here. We're gonna wrap things up. Maybe they will be giving the medals to the Bruins, but regardless, I want to save my voice for the gold medal game because that was a real stunner. To everyone tuning in on the live chat thread, thank you for your comments. Thank you for tuning in. And stay tuned because up next, it's the gold medal game at the 2023 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament.